never had a new trailer, ever. I've actually had an ATC before that I bought used, and it was an older 36-foot gooseneck, and it was great, but it was the stripper model, like nothing inside of it. And this thing with all the configurable storage, like it's blowing my mind. I can't wait to go home and just start putting things away and then changing my mind and putting them in other places. So it's gonna be good. I didn't buy the sink and the toilet, and I thought, ah, I'm never gonna use them, they're gonna eat up space. And then as I walked into the trailer, because they have those items in here to show people what you could do, I walked in the trailer and went, oh, I could put that there, I could put that there, and so now maybe I need a sink and a toilet in my life in my race trailer. <laughs> Why ATC? Uh, well, to their credit, they answered the phone. Gotta be honest, like I, when, I, when I decided I'm finally gonna spend the money to, to buy a proper trailer, I, I called a lot of places and just couldn't get anyone on the, on the phone. And, and the good folks at ATC answered the phone. I told them what I was looking for, what I was willing to spend, and, and here we are. And uh, like I said, I had one in the past and it was a great trailer. And my last trailer was a steel one that weighed 6,300 pounds empty. So I can't wait to hitch this to my truck and not give it the workout it was getting before. <laughs> I, uh, I have automotive ADHD, pretty much. Um, I have a lot of different interests. I race drag boats, I race cars, I love riding dirt bikes, and so this particular trailer, three times a year is gonna get converted for just a completely different purpose than it was before. Um, I have a 19 foot long carbon fiber jet boat that's gonna fit in here, because the door opening is nice and wide, and we've got tie downs where we need them. Directly behind you is my Bel Air. We do drag and drive events with that. So at a certain point in the year, that car is gonna come in here and these cabinets are gonna get moved all around and the couch is gonna get moved. And then when the fall comes and it cools off in Georgia, my kids and I are gonna go dirt bike riding. And so the dirt bikes are gonna come in here and you know, it, it's just gonna get used a lot. You know, a little compare and contrast. My last trailer, the winch was in the front cabinet. So whenever you winch the car in, and, and if you wanted to leave the winch attached, you had the doors open all the time, flopping around. Those were dented. So I'm looking forward to having the winch in the floor. That and just the lightness of it is probably what I'm most excited about. You know, my old trailer, you needed a three quarter, one ton truck to haul it. And um, this, I think you could probably tow this with a half ton truck, you know. Maybe not fully loaded down like we're going to, but empty, you could definitely move it around. Um, and yeah, I've never had a trailer with a stereo in it. Like there's just all the, like there's, I talked them into putting lights in the floor so that when I load the car late at night in the dark, I could actually see the chassis. There's just all these things I've never had and uh, I can't wait to try it all out. It's the first trailer I've ever ordered. And it, and it was a process because they were willing to listen to me. And so we kept going back and forth about what I thought I wanted versus you know what was possible. And it turns out almost 99% of everything I wanted in a trailer is here and the other 1% just turned out to be stuff I really didn't even need, didn't know it. I was asking the wrong questions um, and they were educating me and it was great. And so, you know, this trailer has everything and I'm, I'm an organizational freak. I'm constantly moving stuff in my garage. Like my YouTube, they know, the fans, they know. If they look in my shop, it's changing. You know, the mill was here, now it's over there. You know, the toolbox was here, now it's over there. And so you're gonna see this you know, in my social media, you're gonna see these cabinets move because I'm gonna fill them up with stuff to go boat racing, and then I'm gonna come home and wanna go car racing, and that same stuff doesn't need to be here, and maybe that cabinet doesn't need to be there, or maybe, like, look at this track system. These open up vertically right now. You can turn this on its side and stand it like this, top to bottom on the racks, and it's, it's a locker at that point, you know? Like, there's just so many things you can do with what's present, and the thing I'm really excited about is what's coming. Like, this isn't all the stuff they have planned. Like, they're gonna have nitrous bottle racks that pop into these things, you know? Like, the sky's the limit with the track system. I'm fired up about it. And if you like this trailer as much as I do and you want more info, hit up the guys at Trailers of the East Coast because they're ATC's, one of them, number one dealer.